So in this problem, I, I just want to make sure I rewrite that so uh, um, Brown would know exactly what we're talking about. So remember, we want to write everything in terms of squared because the square root of x squared equals x. Yes. Oh, you're not? OK. Then, if even if I wrote x to the 11th squared, the square root of that, my square roots cancel out, leave me x to the 11th. So now, when I take the square, if I see if I can rewrite these as square roots, I can rewrite 26 squared, x squared squared, and y cubed squared. Now, this is very important because now I can take the square root, or I can undo my square root, which each one of these squared functions. Leave me with 26 x squared y cubed. But the very important for us to understand that this y cubed, right now, we have to make sure that we only are dealing with our positive integer of this. So therefore, we need to make sure we include this to be our absolute value. Okay. Why did you need those two units? Why do we need to include our absolute value? Because if you read it like this, y cubed, y could be negative or positive, right? So we only want to deal with the positive value of it. So like for the odd? When it's even and even, you're good. But when you go from taking the even root of an odd, that's when we need to make sure you include the absolute.